Hey guys, I'm Princess here with AUC and we are at the Metropolitan Gala and Fashion Awards. Tonight we're going to talk to some of the best designers in Hollywood and in America's Next Top Model. Keep it locked here with All Urban Central. So for your supporters, can you tell us what do we need to look for whenever we're getting a reading? Like what are some things that we need to be mindful of? Like how can we tell that we're getting something legitimate for from sure. our readers? I think it's very important for a medium to not ask too many questions. So you'll know you're getting a big reading or a good reading based mm -hmm. on the information that comes through. So that's very important. The specifics, the details, mm -hmm. information that no one else could kind of hear about through the grapevine. So it's very important. So just go in expecting them to ask you like not no ask you anything but tell you everything. Yeah, they should really do the majority of the talking. I think that's very important. And you know your loved ones more than any medium, so mm -hmm. keep that in mind when you see them. And it should sound like them, it should sound like your loved one. Yeah. Absolutely. It's very important. And then having had the experiences that you've had, how does that change your perspective on life and death and your relationships? Oh, I'm so thankful. It actually has given me an insight into obviously the continuation of life and that things keep going and yep. it's just allowed me to embrace life more and really be in the present. So it's very important. Awesome. And then last question. So I have someone who is in Tampa and she really wants to know, like, can you recommend anyone in Tampa Bay, Florida? Who can you recommend? Oh my gosh, I haven't even been, so <laughs> I'll, I'll have to keep you posted on that one. I'll get back to you if I hear okay. about it. Thank you so much. Have a good night. And we're going to take those tips and use them. Yes, so, absolutely. Thank you. So what brought you out here tonight? Like, what are you looking forward to tonight? I'm looking forward to see uh, the new designs from Giovanni Testi. Okay. Uh, that's actually what I'm wearing right now. Okay, and I basically right. just came out to show my, uh, my respect and love for all the nominees and also awesome. show the brand some love. That's awesome. So, yeah. That's awesome. And then for you, like, as a male model, yep. what are some things that you feel like the world doesn't understand about male models? Like, what do you want to tell the world that you guys go through and we don't know about? Um, it's a lot of hard work. You know, you got you to persevere through a lot, and you also have to know the metrics of the business, you know? Um, you have a lot of ups and downs, so you got to have thick skin within the industry as well. So, yeah. Okay. How did you build up that thick skin? Excuse me? How did you build up that thick skin? Uh... I had a, a, a tough upcoming, and I'm also a prof uh, ex professional athlete. I played football in the NFL for two years, so I played football my whole life. So, yeah, yeah most definitely, <laughs> and a little muscle. There you go. There you go. Well, thank you so much. Have no a problem. good night. Thank you, you for stopping by. Well, you look amazing. Can thank you tell you. us about your outfit? This is from Hudson Design. It's okay. um, Stanley Hudson from Project Runway. Oh, nice. Yes. Yeah, so awesome. yeah. So he's going to be here tonight as well. Okay. So. Um, so this is, this is him. That's awesome. This is him. That's amazing. Thank That's you. Amazing. And then to be a black woman, a woman of color, what does it mean for you to work on a show like Blackish? That's really successful. Like, it's been around for a while. Yeah. I'm so incredibly blessed to be on this show awesome. from the pilot on. And so I couldn't pick a better bunch of people at this time in my, in my career. So mm -hmm. I've come from In Living Color to this show. So it's just been an incredible ride, and I've had a great boss, Kenya Barris, who was the create, who is the creator of the show, mm -hmm. and I have Anthony Anderson as my executive producer, and then also I have Tracy Ross to dress. So it's, I, so it's been an incredible ride for a black woman to have this on her on her resume. So I'm very excited about it. That's mm -hmm. awesome. Yeah. And then for you, like, what is the craziest experience you guys have had on set? Like, tell us about your experience as a family on set. Well, we just, I can't tell you, but you, when you see our 100th show, okay. that's probably the craziest that we've gotten in the last five years, but I can't talk about it because the pu AB, ABC person's here, but okay, you're going to be enough. pleasantly <laughs> surprised for our 100th show, so please, please watch it. That's mm -hmm. awesome. And then for those kids who are in school and they're just getting started, what tips would you give them if they want to go into costume design? You know what? I'm a firm believer in following your dreams. And it does take a lot of passion. This is a, a, a job that's a lot of long hours. And if you don't like it, you'll be miserable. But it is a job that it's, I'm really rewarded every day. To, but I think this follow, consistently follow your dream. Write it out every day. Okay. Every day. If it takes you five years, 20 years, or whatever, write it out every day what, you, what your dream is. And focus on that. 